Why, hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Playframe, and welcome to Guayota. This is a sponsored video brought to you by the folks over at Team Delusion, the developers of this game, who would like you to know that it is now out on Steam and on Switch. I have got a link to the game's Steam store page in the description if you want to go pick up the game for yourself. If you'd like to see a bit more of the game first, then that's all right. I got you covered. And this game's neat. It's a adventure puzzle game is probably how I would describe it from what I've seen so far. And according to the devs, it is inspired by a mix of Lovecraftian stories, Zelda games, and legends and mythology from the Canary Islands, which that's a neat and really unusual trio of things. It's a kind of fascinating game. Let me show you it. New game. This tale is inspired by the culture and historical mythology of the ancient natives of the Canary Islands, and especially of those people who inhabited the island of Tenerife, the Guanche people. This is a tale about discovering paradise on Earth and a turning point in human history that determined its fate forever. Apologies in advance for my pronunciation of any words or names in this. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get some wrong. I promise it's not on purpose. It is the year 1506 of the Common Era. The Crown has asked for your help in a secret mission. You will join an expedition searching St. Brendan's Island, which, according to legends, is paradise on Earth. Your role in such a wondrous adventure will be to record each discovery that is made on that island. It is said that this island lies somewhere near the Canary Islands. So you depart on a ship to the island of Tenerife to gather more information. After your arrival, you talk to the natives of the island, who tell stories about a mysterious island located to the west. They say that it is surrounded by a thick fog that prevents anyone from reaching its shores. It is said that the secret to getting there is not to wish for it. Those who claim to have reached the island were either sailing aimlessly, or the tides swept the ship away while they slept. Having gathered this information, you depart westward on a caravel in search of the legendary island. After a few hours at sea, you gaze upon the thick fog, and you venture through it. You fold the sails and wait until dusk. When the night arrives, you and your partners go to sleep, hoping that the trick works. You fall into a deep sleep. And here we are. It's a neat premise, right? Like, this is a concept of game that you don't see popping up on Steam every week. <laughs> I'm always thrilled to see a very original idea or combination of ideas, and this is definitely that. We've got a small camp. And you. Hello. You're finally awake. You took your time, huh? Hmm, you look rather disoriented. My name is Nicholas. I'm a chronicler by vocation, in case you do not remember. You came here just when I arrived from the top of the mountain. Better keep you up to date on the events. We arrived here a few hours ago and decided to separate in order to explore the island. I was accompanying Rodrigo, the arquebusier, to the top of the mountain. We went through that path over there. At the summit lies a stone temple. It doesn't resemble anything we've seen on the other islands. It looks like it was made by a far more advanced civilization. We went inside it, but Rodrigo decided to go on his own, so I could come back and check if you were finally awake. 
I had a pretty rough time on the way back. Not only was the path steep, but the earth decided to start shaking all of a sudden. I was lucky to keep my balance and avoid getting hit by falling rocks. When I arrived, the paths that Leopoldo and Aurelio took were blocked because of the earthquake. I'm afraid that the only available path is the one that leads to the top of the mountain, and, well, I've been here examining this huge stone slab until the moment you arrived. I know you're not someone very fond of action, but would you mind checking how Rodrigo's faring up there? It's been a while since we went our separate ways, and we should have been back to report on the situation by now. I would go myself, but I'm afflicted by the pains of old age. I'm sure that you would be faster. Oh, and take this torch. You'll need it, as you can't see anything without a proper light. Furthermore, for some mysterious reason, the fires inside the temple are very hard to extinguish, so you need not worry about being alone in the dark. Although I couldn't help but feel that someone was watching me from the shadows. And don't worry, though. It's probably just my imagination. Anyway, I don't feel like going back there again. To be honest, I much prefer sunlight and the smell of ink and paper. Time to work. Take note of anything that seems interesting to you. I'll come back to check on you in a while, but before that I'll finish investigating the stone slab. The sun symbol in it looks similar to the one in the temple at the top of the mountain. I wonder if they're related in some way. Ah. Oh, this one's kind of flashing. Let's ask. What is your story? You see, I'm a chronicler working for the Casa de la Contratación de Indias. I definitely said that weird. Over the last few years, I've been documenting some minor expeditions to Western Africa under the Portuguese crown. I studied at the University of Alcala, where I received an education in theology, amongst other subjects. I'm also passionate about history, but maybe just enthusiastic about it. I'm the best person to document this expedition because this is supposed to be Eden on Earth. I am sure that we would make a good team. I see that you are rather good at drawing, so you could act like my eyes on this island. I'm not that fond of putting myself in trouble if I'm being completely honest with you, but I hope we will get along nicely. Pleasure meeting you. I should be getting to it, I guess. Well, all right. Let's go. Ooh. Snowier looking. I'm enjoying the use of depth of field. And here we are. Okay. I, too, am noting the sun symbol everywhere. Okay. Only got one open door. All right. So, as you can see, uh, this door will only open when it has light in proximity, which is an issue for us. But, you can press A to hold and drop items, so we can collect this here, bring it with us, and if we were to drop it near this, there, light source, and we're in. Another one of those, another crystal, and this door is also closed. But notice, this is lit up, the door is still closed. The door has three of those little sun symbols there, and only one lit up when we walk farther away from this one. So we need to find a third, which is right here. So if we leave this gem right here, kind of between them, it should reach both. And there we go. Oh, this could be Magic, the solar deity of the Guanches. I must make notes of this. And there's our first little puzzle room done. Also, we have notes. Let us check our notes. This is where we'll be putting all our notes as we go. Magic, the solar deity. 
At the center of the mural is a humanoid figure with a halo on his head and the sun at his back. Below him, there are some people adoring him, with a figure that looks like a priest or a shaman in the center and some crops to the sides. Most likely, it's a representation of the solar deity Magek, or Magek, I'm not sure which, apologies again, as the Guanches call him. And those people could be ancestors of the Guanches. All right, next door is open. In we go. Mm-hmm, all right. So we've got little spaces between where we can light up two of these. But I am seeing more over here. Four in total, kind of looks like. And that one's going to require four. Okay, so we could, if we can light up just two with this gem over here. Perhaps by leaving it here. Can I do it? Yeah, all right. Then we can grab this one. Do a similar setup here. Four. Fantastic. It seems that the glistening stones are related to magic. I'm enjoying the archaeological aspect to this. The glistening stones. This mural represents Majek giving the blue glistening stones from this temple to the Guanche's ancestors. It also depicts the monoliths starting to float when they receive any kind of light. And next room. So... Let's see, a two-sun door. Where's another thing to light up? There's one. Okay. We can just run across to grab this one. Just with our torchlight radius. But in order to light up two... Which are on either side of this door here. If we just leave this one here... And then go light this one up ourselves. Then the door opens and then hopefully the gem is getting both of them. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Oh. And that's a trap. You are completely in the dark. You are lost. You advance through the corridors of a room, surrounded by nothing but darkness. You hear whispers and other sounds at a distance. It seems that you will never find the exit. You have lost track of how much time you've been wandering in the dark. You are about to lose your sanity. But suddenly, a bright light appears in front of you, blinding you for a moment. When your eyes get used to the light, you see a flame floating in the middle of the room, the source of that blinding light. You see the flame getting closer, but instead of panicking, you feel a great sense of tranquility. You let the flame reach you. You can sense the flame watching you, and you feel a soothing warmth it might be some kind of spirit. And it is willing to join you in your task. The flame lights your torch with a special fire that keeps the shadows at bay. When you take a closer look at the room you are in, you discover a mural. It shows people imprisoning a shaman between the walls while he is still alive. Was that the cruel fate inflicted upon your new friend? All 
And here we are, though. Things are looking a little bit more purple and spooky. Press B to dash forward. Do it against that crystal wall. Okay. So yeah, if we just walk into it, stopped. But we can dash. Which gets us through it, but also makes it look quite different. It looks more solid now. Which is interesting. We can dash through this way and then just walk through it when it looks like that. I guess it's a little bit more of like a gas kind of thing. In this form. Whatever the case, we can dash through. And now for our next puzzle. So the light goes through these walls, or at least the light does when it's transparent like this. Does it still work like this? It does not. Good to know. Okay. Uh, all right. Takes a second to recharge the dash. We're through now. Our torch can light this up. And... We can grab this. And then if we dash through this and then we'll leave it, that should light both those up. Dang. I see. So we can walk through these again, but if we have to dash through another one, it seems like that little wave we put out resets a lot of these walls. So if we do this, and then just walk through that one, there we go. I'm getting it. Okay. Ooh. So, there are more types of traps that shoot water. Oh, hello. What in the hell is that thing on top of you? Is that some kind of spirit? Are you saying that it saved you from losing your mind when you were left in the dark? But how's that even possible? I thought the fire could not die inside of those temples. You say that you triggered a trap that shot some kind of shiny water. Interesting. I wonder if that's the only way of extinguishing fires inside the temples. Hold on, let's go back to the topic of the spirit above your head. So, it was in a hidden room behind a wall. I see. And that there was a mural in that room. You copied it, right? Let me take a look at it. Fascinating. It depicts a group of monks locking someone between the walls. At least, they look like monks. One thing is for sure, they are dressed differently from the poor soul who suffers this terrible act. Hmm... I'm guessing that the spirit is one of the people who were walled up. I heard the Canarians call those benevolent spirits Maxios, and that they hold some connection with their deities. Perhaps it is one of them. Anyway, how could something so vile happen in a holy place like Paradise? Perhaps it was a wicked individual who deserved such a punishment? I have no idea. But you should be careful. Until we're certain of what's going on here, I'd not let anyone else see your new companion. There's no need to unsettle anyone. Well, I'll go and clear the way to the rest of the temples. I should be done when you finish here. Until then. Okay. You're taking this very well. Next room. Okay. Little statues watching me. That's fine. Uh, all right. So, these are some of the little trap things. Let's dash over them. I'm assuming I just don't want to touch that. Oops. Didn't spot that in time. But now we can see, in uh, getting sprayed by that once, the little fire symbol up in the top left corner has lost uh, one little piece. So, let's not let that happen a couple more times. All right. All right. I guess I'll take this and dash. And leave this here. 
for now. Dash. And that means we can cross this and grab one more. We're going to need two lit up for this. Which we can achieve pretty easily. Here we are. Gonna need four lit up for that one. Now we can go over here. Dash. And I see two more over here. Keep moving. Uh, we don't have a gym here, though. And I don't see another one over here. I can't move this one because that's what's keeping this bridge going. But I can move this one. Wherever I left it. There you are. I can move this one because this just needs any one of the... Uh, little pedestals here and around in the room to be lit up. It doesn't have to be that one specifically. So now we can carry this one over here. Leave it in this spot and that will give us four. Perfect. We're in. What are monks doing here? They feel out of place. We should check our notes. Ooh. Big center door. Uh, let's see. Monks engraving the murals. This mural shows two people that look like some sort of monks. Both of them are depicted engraving the murals that I'm noting. If I press Y, it says alternate notes, which... Ooh. <laughs> Shifts to a different page, but the page still has all but one of these. Interesting. I wonder why that one specifically isn't on alternate notes page. Nah, whatever. A shaman being walled. According to this mural, a group of monks walled a Canarian shaman alive. What would bring these monks to act in such atrocious ways? And fire extinguishing traps. This mural is divided into three sections. Each one of them depicts a person carrying a torch, being surprised by three different mechanisms. From left to right, you can see how the light from the torch gets dimmer and dimmer. I recognize that plaque with tubes and vapor on the left. You could say those devices are some kind of trap to leave people in the dark. Let's not stumble into those if we can help it. And... Ah! More rooms. Alright. Next. What are you looking at? Mind your own business. Use the right stick to move the camera. Oh, okay. Lots more traps. There's a gem we can grab. And another one. Yep. Hmm. Can't grab either of these here, though, because... The only pedestal that's lit up is this one here. Okay, let's keep moving in and see what we can... Ah, no. See what we can find. Perfect. Give me that one. Careful. Oof. Got grazed by that one. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Let's collect these. Hmm... Ah, oh, man. I need one to leave here. Fooey. Okay. We don't need one left here. 
Well, no, we do need one left here. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. I'll bring this one with. Which is hopefully not a terrible idea. Ah, oh, I thought that would work. No. Ooh. Has it dropped me in a different version of the puzzle? Neat. We we've kind of passed the part that I checked out before starting to record here, so... From here on, I do not know the solutions. Hmm. Mean little walls. Okay. All right. Come on, man. I guess that's achieved what I need. Because the gem is now lighting up that thing, so long as I don't... Uh, I think in walking through this, I'm going to break that wall, though. I could just keep going. No, I can't just keep going. Ooh. Yeah, if I zip through this, I think that's going to solidify the wall again, which does not help me. I can walk through these and just keep go moving. Maybe that'll work for me. Maybe. Not really. There we go. That's a start anyway. And then I can go over here, grab this. Uh, let's have a look at this side, actually. So that opens that. Okay. We have an invisible wall here, and that's fine so long as we can leave a gem out here, which means I need a gem I can leave out here. Hmm. I think this might work better done on the other side. I think. I hope. Yeah, I think it will, because I just need I just need one of these lit up to keep this bridge going. So I can remove this one. Bring this with. Leave that there. You can come with me. This is still lit up. Good, good. And that's still open. So we can leave this here. That gives us five. That should be enough for the rest. I'll just have to do this part correctly. Yeah, all right, we did it. That's interesting, so if we we had a slightly different version of the puzzle here. If we failed to sneak through and like ran into traps and such and our torch went out, does that drop us in another version of the puzzle that is easier in terms of like hazard, but maybe a little harder in terms of puzzle solution? I wonder. Maybe we'll find out if we keep going. This resembles the stone slab from the mountain, and the symbols that surround this thing remind me of something. I wonder if the version of the thing we see in our book changes depending on which version of this we solve. Like I am now seeing here, we've got, 
I, I wondered what these little symbols were, the little yellow and the purple, but the purple's the one that looks more lit up right now. Maybe because we solved that version. Okay, let's let's test this. If I go and solve this puzzle without dying, like a fool, do we get a different thing? I wonder. Because, like, we have... We have... That might be what the alternate notes thing means. We have this. The great door seems to depict the stone board at the slope right next to our camp. Around it, there are three symbols that are very similar to the Canarian symbols that can be found across the whole archipelago. In fact, this stone slab has three holes with shapes that correspond to those of the symbols. Perhaps the position of the symbols means something. This is seeming quite clever. That's right, we need to sneak through first. Grab this. There we go. Wait, there we go, okay. Yeah, this is this team's uh, first game. It's just a small Spanish indie studio. But I am quite impressed so far. With that lit up, we can go and grab the other one. Bring it over. Wait, do we still have two lit up? We do. Never mind. We can just go in here. <sighs> Forgot about that. We can just go in here. Place this. Boom. We've got four. We can dash. Start using a little more caution. Stop being so reckless all the time. Now we can take this one. Sneak across. Leave this here. Ah! I pressed the wrong button to dash. Dang it! Hang on, I can do it. Okay, we've got five lit up again. And we can just waltz through. Yes, yes. Hey, and yeah, that lit up both versions now. Cool, okay. Do we get a different note? It seems like this shaman did not want anyone coming close to the stone slab near the camp. We do get a different note. So there's good incentive to solve both versions, because yeah, now those are both glowing more brightly. Cool. God's Retreat. This mural shows someone who seems to be a Canarian shaman warning some monks about staying away from the stone slab at the slope. But now that I think about it, perhaps it's a door to the insides of the mountain? The cross at the top seems to indicate that the interior of this place is a holy place. All right, let's try solving another one. How did we get in here, by the way? I guess that was our entrance, this door here. I suppose it must have been. All right, let's try doing another. This is significant, I'm sure of it. <laughs> But I don't know what it is yet. Okay, we need three for this. So, dash. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to leave this one here. Nope. Didn't realize that was one way. Go! Okay. Okay. Where are we taking this one? Okay, here we go. Here's something. I guess we can leave this one here. Ooh, boy. A much more complex configuration. No! Well, we're solving the other side. <laughs> 
it is kind of neat as like a it's not even like a consolation prize or a punishment it's just a, okay you solve this one try solving this other version now there's not like hazards here so you can definitely solve it it's just like it's more of a puzzle than one where you have to like survive hazards you can try surviving the hazards later Okay. So we can leave this one here, I guess. Um. We should probably leave one at this far end first, since it's so distant and we'll have to traverse through all these others to get back. But we can leave that there. We can... Zip through this. That does not work. We need to do something that'll let me go grab this one. And this might be all really I do need to do. Yeah. Well, oh, the thing's on the other side. Mean. Okay. Yeah, I think we might need to leave this over here first. Oh, that's already Trixie. Okay. We can leave it here. Hmm. I was hoping that... Hmm. I'm so stumped already. So there's one, two, and three. There's not another one of these little pedestals somewhere closer and easier. No. We will have to actually think. Most unfortunate. The spare pink one over here seems noteworthy. It makes me think that I should leave this one here and then find some way to be interacting with the, uh... pink wall over there. Like, maybe by doing just this? And then maybe, maybe... If I dash through this green one, the pink one will stay where it is, because I'm not interacting with pink in any way. Yes? Yes. Okay, okay, I'm figuring out the rules. Whichever crystal wall color I dash through, that's the stuff that gets reset. Not all of them, just the color I'm dashing through. Now I can leave this one here, grab this third one, and then I just need to get this to this side and walk back in a order that will leave everything clear and open which I think hopefully uh, doesn't get me to that side though Why do 
we not have three lit up right now? I thought I had left one of these in front of each of the three. Did I not position that last one correctly? Oh, there's that green one over there that's... Mm. Okay. So I can do that. And then I can do... Ugh. I can do that, but that kind of messes things up a little bit. If I walk through this, that does not change this wall over here. No. Okay. Shoot. Think, think, think. Hmm. It's a doozy. Apologies for everyone looking at this right now. Ripping your hair out, knowing the answer. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. So, like... That opens all this up. But then, in order to get back through... No, wait, here we go, there we go, that did it. I don't know why it didn't work last time, but that did it. I must have just done the order a little off slightly. We're through. Whoa. Hmm. Oh, I think it depicts Majek falling inside a volcano. It seems to be part of a story. And that's enough to open this one up. I wonder how many of these you, like, have to successfully solve to progress. Heaven versus Hell. This mural shows Majek falling down into what seems to be the insides of a volcano. Surrounding the mountain is the shadow of an evil being. That evil being's probably the one causing the deity's fall into the volcano. Now let's try another one. And if I do this one reasonably quickly, maybe we can go for that last one in this room. Gonna need five... to get through that door. Okay. We're through here, but I could use a gem. There we go. So if I just leave this one here, we'll have two constantly. And that will get that bridge open over there, and then, yeah, we can keep on... Oop, careful. We can try to keep on progressing. Let's not charge through the middle. Even if it would be faster, I would definitely take a hit. I'm trying to be careful. Okay. Now, on this side... Little traps on the floor everywhere. Okay. Oop. Nope, too far. It's okay. Zip. Nah, wrong. We can make it. And now on this side... Careful. Careful. Go, go, go. Yeah. That was close. Leave this here. Keep those lit. Could really use one more. Well, maybe, maybe. Maybe I can leave this, like, right there and get all three. Yeah, okay. Woof. And now we still have to survive getting out of here. Woof. Mean. Mean. 
Now! Shoot. Yeah, those rooms are gonna be hard. Unless, in progressing through, we can manage to, like, upgrade ourselves in some ways where we get some more durability to our little flame. Not sure if that's a thing. Colors are more fun on this side anyway. This is what I wanted. I like it here. Okay, let's see. Um... Hmm. Okay. Here's how we grab this one. We can... Oof. We can leave this here, but... Going back through... Yellow walls... Dang. So, okay. We do that. And then this, 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 this. This is fine. So long as all the yellow walls are on that side, everything's great. <laughs> oh no. A maze. Eh, no. No. Come on. There we go. Mine. I appreciate that the walls you bump into do stay lit up faintly so you can still see. And I'll just keep stumbling through every single time. Consider it. Okay. Hmm. I can leave this here. Ugh. Maybe. And then... Oh no, I shouldn't leave it there. I should bring it with me, cuz... There's this here. Place it there. Open that one up. Go around. Um... Uh oh. Oh dear. Okay. Huh. How though? Alright, so hang on. If I... Go through and do the reset... Then I can walk through and also walk through this. No, nope, that won't work because then I'll have to come back through and then we're then we're back to where we were before. Okay. Think, think, think. That might still work, actually. If we just that. Mm. And then this may nope, still gonna I see. So okay, so we can just use kind of some of these spare walls. I was wondering what some of these were out here for. And so you can like use it to kind of like uh cycle these uh walls through a state one more time and set yourself up to be able to do something like that. There. That's what I need. I'm starting to get it. And before the end of the video, even, which... It's a miracle. Hmm. 
Um, perhaps it depicts a conflict between the deities? Your guess is as good as mine. Let's see your guess in more detail. Uh... Oh, it's like more detail to this one, I see. The central image shows a humanoid fighting an evil being and carrying Majek in his hand. The humanoid could be Akaman, the supreme deity, based on the size difference between him and Majek. With his other hand, he's casting a huge blast of fire. This is real neat. Let's see if I can solve one more before we wrap this up. Because you definitely get the idea by now. It's a cool game. Okay. There's one thing. There's two of our gems. We need one lit up to have the bridge between them. We can probably get to this one by going through here, but then we'd have to go back through. Oof. I wonder what this is. The little glowing edge on it makes it uh, a little conspicuous. I'm sure it's for something that I just don't know what yet. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that other challenge over there first. Okay. Yeah. Start up here, then go. Ah. Hide in here, then go. Yeah. Man, it's a shame we can't uh, dash through there. Eh. Hide. Then go. Quick. Yeah, all right. Minimal casualties. Woo! Then with that placed, we can get over here. Grab this one. Hmm. I'm just going to go back. That seems safer. Where's another thing I can light up? From here. Hmm. Kind of, but I think if I place this gem down, that's not gonna... Nope, doesn't reach. Drat. Where is another one? Maybe one of the other ones was over here. Maybe that's why I needed to kind of go through that more hazardous area. That might very unfortunately be. Whoop. Keep going. Nah, didn't expect that to come back. Go. Ah, uh, there we go, okay. I mean... I do need this eventually, but not right now. I needed to find another statue first, I think. Because this... Well, actually, no. If I can get to the other side... If I can get to the other side... This might still work for me. Maybe. Nah. No. Never mind. We're solving the other one. Yeah, I do hope, actually, that there are some ways to kind of upgrade yourself and make yourself more durable. Because those are not simple hazards to avoid, even this early on. But this might sort of be the expected flow of things where it's very, very hard to solve those first time. And then later you can come back with a little more capability. But if you're super good, you can pull it off. It's not as though these are 
considerably simpler. <laughs> You can't fail these, it'll just take you a very long time to succeed, possibly. Depending upon your puzzling capabilities. So if I leave that there, walk through. There we go. Then... Okay. Yeah, I think we need more. With just one lit up, we can get over here and start doing more things. So let's, um... We do that and then walk back through. And then nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not yet. That. Nope. Hang on. This can be solved. That. Ah. This isn't even a hard one yet. And then... There! Step one complete. Okay. This we can leave here for now. Cross fingers. Not sure how we're getting over there. If we need to get over there. Hmm. There's another gem over there. How would one reach that? What bridge opens the path over there, I wonder? Because, yeah, you can't dash over there. From here, anyway. But we do have... Two lit up. Hmm. I think I do need to find a smart way to leave both of these transparent by the time I get back here. And there must be a way to do it. If I walk back through here, one, two, there, now that can open, because I got a light lit up on the other side as well. Nice, okay. Now we got three. So we can walk through. And
I feel like I should be wrapping my head around like the basic way to navigate this nonsense now, but. With that, we've got a bridge here and I can walk through this. Okay, I don't need to get up there at all. I just need to be able to walk through this to be able to fade that wall there. Okay. I am going to need to figure out how to walk through these, though. That is the unfortunate part of all this. <laughs> For me. If I can get one of these lit up, and I can, that should leave this open, right? No, not quite. And then I walk through this one. There, now we got four. Then I can loop around here. This door is open. I can go through here. do that, which is going to reset some, but that's okay, because I can walk through, walk through, walk through. Boom! Ha! <laughs> Hold on, this seems familiar. It reminds me of Guayota's legend. I want to read it. Oh. Ooh. I got a thing. Uh Yeah, part 3. Here we go. The last mural of the 3 shows Achaman imprisoning the evil being inside the volcano. At his side stands Majek and most likely Chaxiraxi, the fertility deity. It's possible this panel shows the final episode of Guayota's legend, the deity of destruction, and how he ended up imprisoned in Mount Teide, the volcano at the island of Tenerife. Again, very sorry for the names and words I'm definitely saying wrong, but you get the idea. It's a pretty cool game. Definitely recommend it. Thank you very much to the folks at Team Delusion for sponsoring this video. I hope you've all enjoyed. Again, the game is now available today on PC and Switch. There's a link to the Steam page down in the description, so go check it out. And uh, yeah, thanks to Team Delusion for sponsoring this episode, and thanks to y'all for watching. I'll see you next time for something else. Goodbye! Mm -hmm.